Today's video is sponsored by Hippo, and they have this product called Water Slide Decal Paper. It is really, really neat. How you use it is it's just like printer paper, kind of like a, a glossy photo paper. You feed it into your printer just like you would um, anything else, and you set your printer to high quality, and then you just print it out onto this paper. And look at like how good, and I just have like, a regular old HP inkjet printer and look at how beautiful this looks when it's printed out. I just found these images on Google and so I went in and printed them out. Now I spray them three times with that clear acrylic spray and that is what sets them. After those three sprays are uh, dry, um, they're ready to be used. And you want to wait about 10 minutes in between each of the sprays. I had this little pumpkin, um, wood pumpkin here from Dollar Tree, and when I turned it around I thought it looked like an apple. I did find out that they actually do have an apple one, but I had this in my stash so I used it. Alright, so this is how these decals work. You're going to cut them apart, and I suggest leaving a little more of a border um, I didn't quite leave enough of a border. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it into water. Here, just like room temperature, warm water. And you're going to do it for 30 to 60 seconds. Once you've done that, you're going to just kind of wet your surface just a little bit here, as you see me doing. And then you're going to make sure that you, when you pull the decal out, you are like, getting all the drips of water off, you know, the excess of water. And it's really important to keep your fingers wet um, and your surface a little bit wet, otherwise it can kind of get sticky. Once you do that, you're gonna take the image and with your two thumbs, you're just gonna press it up a little bit. As you can see, the decal is starting to come up. You're gonna put that down onto your surface and then with your fingers, you're going to hold down that little piece that you've just pushed up and you're going to slowly pull the white paper out from underneath. And it just makes like this really cool decal. And what's really neat about it is especially using it on like glass, which I will do later in this video, but it just gives it this like permanent, um, look whereas if you just mod podge paper on um it doesn't give it this like quite the same look it's almost like sublimation and so just take your time pulling it off so you don't get it you know all wrinkled and now you're just going to take your fingertips and you're just going to kind of smooth it down again make sure your fingers are wet and you can just kind of push it around and um, until you get it all the bubbles out and then you're going to take a Kleenex and you're just going to dab it on to get the excess water on. And then you're going to want to make sure that you let this dry thoroughly. I think they say overnight, but I'll have to check. There is instructions on the back until you want to do anything else with it. And that's it. I actually just kept this little um, decor piece very simple. Um, you could definitely put some florals or something in the 3D. Um, pumpkin apple there. Um, I just decided to keep it as is. You could even distress it more, but I just really liked how it looked. And this is how it looks and when it is all finished. Okay, so now I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to use it on this glass bottle, it is, which is also from Dollar Tree. And you'll notice when I put it in the water at first, it kind of curls up. That's why you just kind of want to use your fingers to hold it down, and then it will be flat. Okay, so now it's ready to go back onto this bottle, and it's easy peasy, and it goes right on there. I'd like to invite you to come over to Instagram, where my name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. There you will find that I share hauls, how I decorate, um, funny anecdotes, all sorts of stuff. So I hope you will come over there and find me. Um, if you ever have questions, you can DM me over there and I'll be happy to answer them. I also will be having a giveaway um, over there very soon. So make sure you come over and find me.
This is a super simple project. I took this tin here from Dollar Tree and it said flowers and garden on both sides. So I scraped it off uh, one side. Um, what I found out is my ribbon was actually thick enough. It would have covered it and I didn't really need to scrape it off, but I didn't know that at the time. So I'm just taking some of this buffalo print um, ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. And we'll go ahead and glue it around. Now when you have um, a circular thing that's where it's wider at one point and smaller at another, the ribbon does kind of sit funny. So you will have to kind of do like a nip tuck um, in the back so that you don't have like this funky <laughs> um, wrinkle. So you see here I have to pinch the fabric and this is in the back and that just makes it so everything is nice and smooth. So I'll go ahead and put this down and then I will add the red ribbon. The red ribbon was in my stash. I'm not really sure where it's from. And once I get that completed, I will add another bow. And then you see the apples up to the right of the screen there. That bag of apples was from the Target dollar spot and it was for $3. So I think that was a really good deal for $3. And I like that they're different sizes. It makes it easier to make an arrangement. And then I'm using some of the Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. Now I'd already used some out of this bag. So if you had a full bag, it would be better. And then I'm just taking um, a Dollar Tree baggie just to fill up the bottom so I don't have to waste a bunch of this. So again, it would take an entire bag and I only had this much left. So you will still see some of the um, paper bag, plastic bag um, through that, but again, you'll be able to cover it with a full bag. Okay, now I'm going to take one of these chalk tags from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add some of these cute little tiny wood apples and a friend of mine actually sells wood cutouts and I'm going to link her down below. She does sell it through a Facebook group and it's really affordable. I want to say this whole bag cost me a dollar and I just color them with my um, chalk markers. And this white pen, pen that I got off Amazon is amazing. It's the best white pen I've ever used, and I've been using them for a long time. So I'll we'll also link that one down below. You can see how well it writes, and it's just a, a nice stark white. And I'm just writing apples, 25 cents per pound. And then I will glue on my little apples to the bottom and add the tag to my apple arrangement and that is it super simple and i think it adds such a cute element to my vignette For this project, I'm going to use this out of this calendar that is for 2022. Um, if you are going to a store and you don't see them, I've already been to my store and they didn't have them. And then I went back and they did have them. Okay, so they are restocking them. And then this sign is from the 99 cent store for $1.99. I picked it up because I really liked the wood beads on top and then that it was a really thick sign. I didn't care for the give thanks on it, so I knew I was going to make it over. I'm going to use some of this wallpaper that is also new to Dollar Tree. Um, I love this. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try to make it so that my, it lines up so it doesn't have like a skinny, like wood plank just on one side. I made it so it'd be on top and bottom. 
So I'm just going to cut this out and it's self stick so I can stick it right down. Um, it is removable. So let's say I'm just over apples, I don't like them anymore and I want to make another sign. After I can just peel this off. But it will stay. It does stick and stay. So if you want it to stay, it will. And if you want to peel it off, it also will. <laughs> so it gives you a couple options if you are like me and sometimes I remake signs. After I um, put this down and get it all smoothed out, I kind of got it off a little bit. Like I said, it is removable. And then I'm going to take my um, sanding block there and I'm going to sand around and that just gets all the little excess pieces. Um, sometimes it overhangs just a hair and it makes it nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut around the apples. I just want the apples um, to go on this side and, um, and then I'll just glue them down with a glue stick. I thought the sign was a little plain, so I grabbed this little wood grateful um, from another Target dollar spot um, pack, and I love that they are just stickers. Makes it so much easier to get them down. I add that to this project, and then it is complete. I did think about maybe brushing some paint around the edges. I kind of wanted that deep olive green. I didn't have any in my stash, and it just wasn't loving any of the paints I had, but that could definitely be something you could do. Okay, so this is another little plaque from Dollar Tree, and it has like a raised um, plastic, you know, image here. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew it and take that little plastic piece off. So it just gives it that depth is what that is. So then I'm just going to cover it in a little bit of linen chalk paint from rust -Oleum. This is just enough to cover those words because when I put this decal on, it's clear. And so I want to make sure, you know, that you didn't see the other words. So again, this was a little bit, I was pretty proud of myself on this one because it's like the exact size, which can be a little bit tricky, but it worked out perfect. And the more I do this, the better I get at it. I do suggest that when you work with this, that you you know, make a couple practice rounds first before you put it on a major project. It does, you just got to get the feel for it, but it, I got it really quick. What's really great about this is it's a great alternative if you don't have a Cricut or, um, and it's also super affordable. So I will go ahead and I will link it below how you can buy it and also with the discount code. Okay, I had this little pumpkin left over from last year that I'd already covered in some buffalo check paper. And I know it looks like a pumpkin, but I still feel like I can get away with it looking like an apple. So here's another um, decal that I actually just put down on a piece of uh, cardboard, um, just that I was going to throw away in the trash. So I just cut it out and gave it that thickness. And then I'm going to add some of my foam tape and add it to the middle. And that's it. Just a cute little decoration. You could make many of these and make a banner. Um, I just wanted a little one to add to my vignette. I think it turned out really cute. And that's it for these Apple inspired projects and this new cool water slide decal paper. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is something you are going to try to work with. Um, it really is fun and gives some new, you know, techniques for how to decorate with your um, craft supplies. <laughs> All right, until next time, happy crafting.